I have been in North Lubbock School since pre-K. I have went to um, Common Place Elementary School. I went to Norview Middle School, and I also has went to Booker T. Washington High School. I started off as um, a student that really didn't know what to expect from high school. I was a student that was just like, yeah, I don't think that would make it in high school. But then as I approached sophomore year and senior year, uh, I, I realized that I am the student that I could, I can be the best that I can be as long as I put my mind to it. There's lots that makes Camille special, but if I have to think about the things that separate her from other students, I'm going to go with her endurance and her tenacity. She doesn't quit. She keeps going. She accepts challenges and rises to the occasion every single time. Over her three years at Booker T, um, I've definitely seen her confidence grow. She takes ownership of her decisions. She's very, she's incredibly responsible. Um, she's the type of student that you don't have to chase down, she's chasing you down because she's that much on it. The teachers, the staff members has been, they have been almost like a mom and dad to me. Regardless, I, have, I didn't have a mom and dad in my life. So when I came to Booker T, it was like the staff members did a phenomenal job. I, cannot, I can just not thank them enough for what they have did for me and the education. They was it's beyond education here. It's the love, it's the it's the family that you feel when you walk into Booker T. The teachers, I had never had a problem with them. They always spoke and I could always talk to them regardless of the situation. She connects and engages and networks with everyone. There's not an opportunity or a person that she didn't develop a relationship with that she should have. You know, I think she's leaving a strong legacy here. She's in the top 5% of any students that I've ever worked with, and that's dating back to my days working in higher education. Um, she's pretty phenomenal. You can count on her to get things done, um, and she's going to go the extra distance. She's not just going to glaze over it. Um, she'll answer the question and then give you some more. I'm involved in NJRTC, and it allowed me to have discipline. When I walked into RTC, I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to do this. I was about to ready to just, just to turn around and walk out the doors, but they have a how it allowed me to have discipline. I have applied to many schools, including um, over a little bit, over 30 schools, and I have been accepted to 31 schools. I have chose to go to Old Dominion University to major in nursing. I think that if we had stayed in school, it would be even more impressive, but to be admitted to over 30 colleges and to have earned to date $522,000 in scholarship dollars, that's pretty phenomenal. She's gonna do great. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that she's going to excel at ODU um, within her nursing major. Like, I just, I'm really excited to see that. I wasn't a person that was very confident. I didn't really want to do schoolwork at first, but when I realized that I was up for competition, I had to have motivation in myself and be confident in myself to realize that I am a smart person. I have, I am very intelligent, and I can do anything that I can put my mind to. I have had to work really hard. It was it has been challenging. I have came overcame many obstacles, but I know that I had faith in myself and I know I could make it. I think that she's overcome challenges and she knows that she can do it, you know. I think her history of success and knowing that she had to work for the success, it didn't just come easy. I think that makes her that makes me believe that she can keep doing that and I think she knows that she can do it too.